Hello everyone. We're going on with our test pension design. In the past videos, we talked about the motor, then we talked about the brake and the bracket. As you can see here, we've made a bracket for the motor and the motor is mounted on it. It's a pretty strong one and we're gonna mount it on the test bench and you're gonna see how it works. Also, we've made the same for the uh, brake. Now, in this video, we're gonna talk about the sensors like uh, torque sensing system, encoder and how to couple them together properly and nicely. Please follow us and subscribe to our channel if you like to see more videos on this topic. So in today's video, we're talking about the rest components of the test bench. So we can see that uh, after installation of the brake with the mounting plate and the brackets, the motor on the T-slot uh, basement plate, we need to connect them somehow. So we need a kind of shaft here. To design the shaft properly, we need to first put the torque sensor in between of the uh, motor and the brake. So overall, the system is supposed to be like that. The motor, the torque sensor by green, the encoder by yellow, and the black is the, the powder brake. And here it is, the straight shaft with a simple shape like the diameter of 15 millimeters and two key slots for connecting to the, to the powder brake and to the coupling system. So here I will show you the, the shaft. You can see it is mounted into the, uh, the powder brake and we can check how it fits into the section plane. So you see the bearing here inside, the brake size is like that, so all the rest part is the fun. And it is clearly seen that the shaft is a little bit longer with the key with respect to the brake size. Okay, I need to say a couple of words about the encoder. This is the step model of this, the encoder we are going to use. Um, it has three mounting plates. The wire is coming out uh, without any connector. The inner uh, true hollow shaft diameter is 15 mm with the housing screw on one of the sides and um, the outer diameter is 77 uh, mm, which is also acceptable for us. This is our torque sensor, which we probably will mount a little bit later but the system is designed for uh, using with the torque sensor as well. You see it has two sides, the sensing side and the drive side, and also it, it should be connected to the shaft that we designed before. So the key side of the shaft was designed especially to connect to this component. The coupling unit is uh, designed especially to connect two different types of shafts. For example, from one side we have 19 millimeters shaft diameter and from another side we do have 15 millimeter. So the overall composition of the hardware of the first layer is that we have the motor, we have the torque sensor here, the green one. Also for the torque sensor we are going to order its stand and the plate we develop using Mizumi website. So this is the component of torque sensing. Also we have here the encoder. The encoder mounting plate is designed using Mizumi website. This is the 5mm thick aluminium plate. And of course the shaft. The shaft is here. You can see it is going through the encoder into the, the brake. 
Two special devices like this coupling unit motor to torque sensor and another one from the torque sensor to the shaft are standard and uh, ordered using Mizumi website as well. So we are going to use this rotational wheels for easy transportation and also the adjustable stands here with the uh, rubber layer for dumping overall the, the unit. A little spoiler about the electronics and the upper layer. So, so here we have the control panel of the device and the electrical cabinet with the power supplies with some control systems and the connection terminals. Stay tuned to know more about the test bench and follow us to watch all the steps of assembly.